In this video, we're going to briefly describe the process of quadratic regression. Now, quadratic regression is just like linear regression, um, fitting a, uh, um, an equation to some data, assuming you have a quadratic fit. Well, how do you tell that you should model quadratic and not linear? Well, as we know, quadratics don't have a constant rate of change. And in this case, we see that the changes in y get uh, progressively bigger. Now, the change in the change in y, you know, realistically isn't always constant just because we think it's a quadratic. Um, like this one is 3, 1, and 4, but there isn't any, any more of a pattern in the change in the change in y. It kind of jumps around and it's roughly, you know, on average around 2 or 3. Um, Maybe it's going to bounce around a little bit, but it looks like the rate of change is growing, so quadratic would be more appropriate than linear. So we're going to use a calculator program, but what this will require us to do is to edit an old calculator program. So in your calculator, go over to Program. You should have Reglin in there from um, class, and what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the new, Create New. We're going to create a new program, so hit Enter. Type in the name. Let's call this so that we all have the same name. We'll call this quad reg. So quad reg for quadratic regression. And what we're going to do next is hit enter and press second and the button that has STO on it down here. So what that brings up is this little guy that says recall. And now press program scroll over to the exec column and select option 3. Press enter. Um, press enter again and what that just did is it pasted the Reglin program into this new program that we're calling quad reg. Now at the very bottom which is where it leaves us off we're gonna change this so delete where it says lin reg. Press del um, Press second del, and now go to um, stat, over to calc, and select option 5. So I'm just going to press 5. So you sh should still see quadreg, a little space, and then y1. We've got the program written. Press second mode to exit out of there and go back to our home screen. Now we're ready to do quadratic regression. So run your clear reg first. I don't have it here, but run your clear reg to set everything up. Now go over to quad reg. Press enter. Press enter again. How many points? Well, we have one, two, three, four, five. Um, we'll, we'll enter our inputs and our outputs now. So zero, enter, five, enter. One, enter, seven, two, and twelve, 3 and 18, 4 and 28, and there it is. There's our data. So we can kind of see that it has curvature to it. And now when you see these little dots here that are just kind of standing, kind of bumping around, that means it's ready for us to press enter. So press enter. It'll take us back to the home screen, and lo and behold, there's the quadratic regression in the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So it tells us that a is about 1.2 b is about 0.8, c is about 5, and r squared is about almost 99.9% .9 which is really really good. So our equation would be y equals 1.2x squared plus 0.8x plus 5.0. So now we can do all the interpretations that we need. r squared um, in this case, it uses a capital. Don't worry about that. 0.999 if we rounded it. And now if we go to, go, go to our graph, there it actually shows us how beautifully, not, although not perfectly, the data is modeled. So now we can use our question or our uh, equation to answer any questions about um, predictions for data, like what is y when x is 5? We can now do that with this equation.